Going over the physical features, the unit is quite portable with smooth edges, making this easy to toss around and stow away in a tight bag. The entire unit is wrapped in a very solid aluminum grill, pressing on this yielded no flexing at all. Now there's two drivers that I can see on the front here, but there's nothing on the rear despite again being wrapped all the way around in aluminum, and no sound comes out the rear just to clear that up. Now on the bottom and the top is a matte finish which looks simple yet classy. Although the speaker does give the look of having a bass radiator or maybe a woofer pointing upwards here, sliding a piece of paper all the way around proves there's no opening the design is just purely aesthetic. Nonetheless, it's still a unique look though. Looking over the buttons, they're all touch sensitive and they all work very well. When a unit is on, the unit glows a very bright white and not a cheap dim looking LED. The top left is your mode selector to enable Bluetooth, switch to the 3.5mm physical cord, or use a micro SD card slot which I'll show you later. Now the right is pause and play with disconnecting the speaker if you use this as a speaker phone. And the bottom two are for skipping songs left and right and that blue ring in the middle here is also touch sensitive. It's a volume dial which worked perfectly fine. Just rotate your finger here. Now rotating to the rear there's your on and off switch with a 3.5mm port to physically connect your device. A TF card slot which is the acronym for trans flash which Sandus stopped using that name a while ago but micro SD card slides basically right into this and plays music off of that. And last is a micro USB port for charging the device. Now there's no wall adapter so you do have to use an existing USB port like on a computer or maybe a power bank. And last there is a tiny LED under that that indicates if the unit is being charged or uh, basically if it's full. Now one issue, the light is very small when the cord is plugged in it does block the light so checking it it's uh, somewhat of a slight nuisance though. Now regarding battery life, the sound box is claiming up to 12 hours of battery life in general. Like all my Bluetooth speakers I test, I did leave this on at 50% volume from a full battery to dead and I personally achieved 14 hours and then I just stopped. Now regarding range, I did walk from one side of the house to the other, went downstairs and had the signal pass through several walls with my Samsung S7 and no problems at all. That's about 40 linear feet. So other than that, the speaker doesn't have all the bells and whistles like NFC or being waterproof or offering bass boost, but the build quality and the aesthetic so far I'm really enjoying. Say hello to Echo Dot, a compact speaker that's controlled by your voice and Alexa. It's got a new look and a new speaker with improved sound. It's designed to fit almost anywhere, like your bedroom, the kitchen, or your desk and can play all your favorite music from all your favorite places. Alexa, play music for studying. Here's a station you might like. Alexa, start my day. With Alexa routines, it's easy to turn on the lights, turn up the heat, and more with a single command. Alexa can also check your schedule, get you caught up, and keep dinner on track. Alexa, set a pasta timer for 12 minutes. Pasta timer for 12 minutes starting now. Best of all, Echo Dot and Alexa are always getting smarter and adding new features and skills. Echo Dot from Amazon. Thank you.
Thank you.